He, he was a year senior to me uh, at Kanpur. He asked me what I was doing. Uh, and I told him that, look, I'm, you know, thinking of starting a company and it's in the space of mobile to do with, you know, deals and, you know, something in that space, not very clear. And he's like, well, let's do it together. We were like uh, batchmates in the same department. We, we did a lot of things together at, uh, at our engineering days. I think we were friends first. Uh, and then ended up becoming business partners far later in our in our journey. Naveen and Abhay met in, in, in Delhi. They came and then Abhay was also uh, living in Bangalore at that point of time. So, okay, they thought that they should do something together. And I said, I'm your good friend. How can you be like roaming around? Here's my office. You use it. Uh, let's do something together. When I met Naveen, I told him I want to own a Ferrari and I don't have enough money. So the one mail that he wrote me that I'm building a company and probably that could be your ticket to buy Ferrari by your own money and that's why actually I joined Emco. That's it. That was it. We just, you know, that was, since then we've been together. It's a brilliant, amazing idea, which was our first idea of saying, hey, let's go ahead and build a, a SMS-based deal engine and the genesis of our idea was very simple i think uh, we all we all love to shop we all need to know where the deals are going on uh, and we all need to know where the deals are going on at that point in time on our on our phones uh, so it was a pretty pretty simple idea uh, naveen has some relative and we had no money to pay so they just gave us you know a place to stay and that became our office and it was just a room not an office and uh, there were two uh, really dirty mattresses uh, when you think about it right now is just two dirty mattress and there were only two pillows so even four people cannot sleep on those and after that i remember we once we raised the funding we took a very small office i think we got the funding from the mumbai angels which was about half a million dollars that lasted us for about nine months that was supposed to last us for about a, about a year but that lasted us for about nine months and we realized you know three-fourths of the money down we realized that we're not going down the track that we wanted the business to go down. And swear to God, it failed. It didn't take off. Yeah, we thought it was brilliant, by the way, when we were building, which I think is true for any entrepreneur. Sometimes it happens the way you are approaching the idea. It could be a little bit ahead of the time. Where we wanted to take the business to and where we could have gone with that trajectory and that plan, there was a huge mismatch. We were in the wrong market and in the wrong time. India was pretty hard uh, place to start a business with at that time in during those years. Everybody liked the idea, they wanted to be part of it, but when it comes to paying for it, they were not ready. We actually need to literally reimagine the business, conserve the finances, generate the resources, and come up with a business that had uh, that had a positive and a forward-looking balance sheet to be able to raise Series A. We knew that there is an online opportunity and there are certain companies who are in early stage who are doing that. And if we can just replicate that process from each side of the world, uh, then it could be a good story. This could be a 10 million, 100 million idea. And I would say that the money was kind of uh, running out from the bank. Our credit card limits were picking up. Bankers started calling. You know, when we were in India and we were pitching, everyone basically questioned us to say, hey, you've got to be kidding me. There is no way anyone is going to ever use mobile platform for media consumption. So there is no way a business can ever happen on advertising that can ever take off on mobile platforms. And as we were going through these emotions, right, we, we decided somehow we should just try our, you know, that one last gasp, one last breath. Uh, let's go to uh, you know Silicon Valley and you know talk to a lot of the VCs on Sandal Road and try and see if something can happen there.